Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. We've got two heavy hitters in the ring, the Flipper Zero and the Wi-Fi Pineapple. These aren't your average gadgets. These are serious pieces of kit for security researchers, pen testers, and anyone curious about the invisible world of digital signals. One's a pocket-sized multi-tool that looks like it could unlock your car, and the other's a more stationary setup designed for sniffing out vulnerabilities in Wi-Fi networks. We're going to break down what each one does best, how they compare in terms of power and versatility, and which one might be the right fit for you. Whether you're a seasoned security pro or just starting out, this video is your guide to understanding the strengths and weaknesses of two of the most popular hacking tools out there. Let's get started. All right, first up, we've got the Flipper Zero. This little gadget has been making waves in the tech community, and for good reason. This thing is tiny, I mean seriously pocketable. You can easily slip it into your pocket or bag without even noticing it's there. Like if you saw this clip to someone's backpack, you might think it's just a cool keychain or something. But in reality, it's a powerful tool disguised as a simple accessory. But don't let the size fool you. This little guy packs a serious punch. It's designed to interact with a wide range of electronic devices, making it incredibly versatile. We're talking about a multi-tool for all sorts of digital interactions. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, the Flipper Zero has something to offer. You've got RFID reading and writing, so you can clone access cards, which can be incredibly useful in various scenarios. Mess around with NFC tags, allowing you to experiment with different types of data storage and transfer. Even try your hand at emulating certain key fobs. Imagine the convenience of having multiple key fobs consolidated into one device. It's got infrared capabilities, so you can control TVs, projectors, and other IR-enabled devices with ease. AC units, you name it. The Flipper Zero can become your universal remote for a variety of household gadgets. And then there's the sub-GHZ radio, which opens up a whole other world of possibilities. This feature alone makes it a must-have for tech enthusiasts. We're talking garage door openers, car alarm systems, even some wireless thermometers. The range of devices you can interact with is truly impressive. It's like having a skeleton key for all these little digital locks we encounter every day. The convenience and power it offers are unparalleled. Now the Flipper Zero is designed to be user-friendly, even if you're new to this kind of stuff. Its intuitive interface makes it accessible to everyone. It's got a simple interface, and there's a ton of documentation and community support online. You won't be left in the dark when trying to figure out how to use it. You can find tutorials for pretty much anything you want to do with it. The community is always there to help you out. But don't get it twisted. This isn't just a toy. It's a powerful tool that can be used for legitimate security research and penetration testing. It's a powerful tool that can be used for legitimate security research and penetration testing. Professionals in the field can leverage its capabilities to enhance their work. You can use it to find vulnerabilities in access control systems, making it an invaluable asset for security audits. Test the security of your own devices, ensuring that your personal tech is as secure as possible. Or just learn more about how these technologies work. It's a fantastic educational tool for anyone interested in tech. One of the things I love about the Flipper Zero is its open source nature. This means you can customize it to your heart's content. You can actually flash custom firmware onto it and really unlock its full potential. The possibilities are endless when you have the freedom to modify the device. There's a whole community of developers creating new plugins and features all the time. This means the device is constantly evolving and improving. It's constantly evolving, which is exciting to see. New updates and features are regularly released, keeping the device fresh and relevant. And because it's so small and portable, you can take it with you anywhere. Whether you're traveling or just out and about, it's always within reach. It's perfect for on-the-go hacking and experimentation. You never know when you'll need a versatile tool like this. Now, in terms of power, the Flipper Zero might not be the most powerful tool out there, but that's not necessarily a drawback. But what it lacks in raw power, it makes up for in versatility. Its wide range of functions makes it a valuable addition to any tech toolkit. It's like the Swiss Army knife of hacking tools. It can do a little bit of everything, and it does it well. It can do a little bit of everything, and it does it well. Its versatility is one of its greatest strengths. Plus, it's just plain fun to use. There's a certain joy in exploring its capabilities and seeing what you can achieve with it. 
There's something really satisfying about being able to interact with the digital world in this way. It's like unlocking a new level of understanding and control. It's like having a superpower in your pocket. The ability to interact with and manipulate digital devices at will is incredibly empowering. So if you're looking for a versatile and affordable hacking tool that's easy to use and packed with features, the Flipper Zero is definitely worth checking out. It's a game changer for anyone interested in the digital world. All right, now let's talk about the Wi-Fi Pineapple. This device has gained quite a reputation in the cybersecurity community for its powerful capabilities. This is a completely different beast compared to the Flipper Zero. While the Flipper Zero is known for its portability and versatility, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is more specialized. While the Flipper is all about portability and versatility, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is more of a stationary setup designed for in-depth Wi-Fi analysis and attacks. It's built to stay in one place and perform complex tasks. Think of it like this. If the Flipper Zero is a Swiss Army knife, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is a high-powered drill. Each has its own unique strengths and applications. It's not as versatile, but it excels in its specific area of expertise. The Wi-Fi Pineapple is designed to dig deep into Wi-Fi networks, uncovering details that other devices might miss. We're talking about a device that can sniff out and capture Wi-Fi traffic, set up rogue access points, and even perform man-in-the-middle attacks. These capabilities make it a formidable tool in the hands of a skilled user. It's a powerful tool that can be used for both good and evil. The dual nature of the Wi-Fi Pineapple means it can be a force for security or a weapon for hackers. On the ethical side, security professionals use the Wi-Fi Pineapple for penetration testing. This involves simulating attacks to find and fix vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. They can use it to simulate real-world attacks and identify vulnerabilities in their clients' Wi-Fi networks. This proactive approach helps in strengthening the overall security posture. For example, they can use it to see if employees are connecting to malicious Wi-Fi hotspots or if the company's Wi-Fi password is easily crackable. This kind of testing is crucial for maintaining a secure network environment, but in the wrong hands, the Wi-Fi Pineapple can be used for malicious purposes. Hackers can exploit its capabilities to carry out a range of attacks. Attackers can use it to steal sensitive information like login credentials, credit card numbers, or even personal files. The potential for harm is significant if the device is misused. Now, the Wi-Fi Pineapple isn't as user-friendly as the Flipper Zero. It requires a deeper understanding of network protocols and security concepts to operate effectively. It requires a bit more technical knowledge to set up and use effectively. Users need to be familiar with network configurations and security practices to get the most out of it. But there's a ton of documentation and a large community of users online who can help you get started. A forums, tutorials, and guides are readily available to assist new users. One of the key features of the Wi-Fi Pineapple is its ability to create fake access points. These deceptive networks can trick users into connecting, thinking they are legitimate. These look like legitimate Wi-Fi networks, but they're actually controlled by the attacker. This allows the attacker to monitor and manipulate the traffic passing through the network. So, let's say you're at a coffee shop and you see a Wi-Fi network called Free Public Wi-Fi. It seems convenient, but it could be a trap set by an attacker. You might be tempted to connect to it, right? This is a common scenario where users unknowingly expose themselves to risks. But if an attacker has set up a Wi-Fi pineapple nearby, they could be using that fake network to intercept your traffic and steal your information. This is a classic example of a man-in-the-middle attack. The Wi-Fi Pineapple can also be used to perform man-in-the-middle attacks. This technique allows attackers to eavesdrop on communications between you and the server. This is where the attacker positions themselves between you and the website or server you're trying to communicate with. They can then intercept and manipulate the data being exchanged. They can then intercept and even modify the data that's being sent between you and the server, allowing them to steal your login credentials, credit card information, or other sensitive data. This can lead to significant breaches of privacy and security. Now, I know this might sound scary, but it's important to remember that the Wi-Fi Pineapple is just a tool. Its impact depends on how it's used. Like any tool, it can be used for good or evil. The key is in the intent and the knowledge of the user. The key is to be aware of the risks and take steps to protect yourself. Simple measures like using a VPN and avoiding suspicious networks can go a long way. 
For example, you should always be careful about connecting to public Wi-Fi networks, especially if you're not using a VPN. A VPN encrypts your data, making it much harder for attackers to intercept. Overall, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is a powerful tool that can be used for a variety of purposes. Its versatility in network analysis and security testing makes it invaluable for professionals. It's a valuable tool for security professionals who need to test the security of Wi-Fi networks, but it's also important to be aware of the risks associated with this device. Understanding both its potential and its dangers is crucial for anyone using or encountering the Wi-Fi Pineapple. So there you have it. We've taken a look at two very different but equally fascinating hacking tools, the Flipper Zero and the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Each of these devices brings something unique to the table, offering a range of functionalities that can be incredibly useful depending on your specific needs. Both of these devices offer unique capabilities and cater to different needs within the realm of cybersecurity. Whether you're a beginner or a seasoned professional, there's something in these tools for everyone. The Flipper Zero, with its compact size and versatility, is designed to be a multifunctional tool that fits right in your pocket. It's like a trusty sidekick for everyday exploration of digital signals. Whether you're tinkering with RFID, NFC, or infrared, the Flipper Zero makes it easy and fun to learn. It's perfect for those who want to learn about RFID, NFC, infrared, and other protocols in a hands-on way. Its user-friendly interface makes it accessible even for beginners. On the other hand, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is a more specialized tool focused on the intricacies of Wi-Fi networks. It's designed for those who need to dive deep into network security. It's a powerful ally for security professionals conducting penetration testing and those looking to understand the vulnerabilities of wireless communications. Its advanced features make it a go-to for serious cybersecurity work. It's a powerful ally for security professionals conducting penetration testing, offering a range of features that can help identify and exploit vulnerabilities in Wi-Fi networks. And those looking to understand the vulnerabilities of wireless communications, its capabilities extend far beyond basic network analysis, making it an essential tool for any cybersecurity toolkit. Ultimately, the best tool for you depends on your specific needs and interests. Are you looking for a versatile, easy-to-use device, or do you need a specialized tool for in-depth network analysis? If you're just starting out, the Flipper Zero offers a more accessible entry point into the world of hacking. Its simplicity and versatility make it a great choice for beginners. But if you're serious about Wi-Fi security and have the technical chops, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is an incredibly powerful tool. It's designed for those who need to perform advanced network analysis and penetration testing. The Wi-Fi Pineapple is an incredibly powerful tool. Its advanced features and capabilities make it a must-have for any serious cybersecurity professional. Both tools have their strengths. The Flipper Zero is versatile and compact, making it perfect for everyday use and learning. The Flipper Zero is versatile and compact, ideal for those who want a multifunctional tool that can be used in various scenarios. While the Wi-Fi Pineapple is a powerhouse for Wi-Fi analysis, its specialized features make it indispensable for network security experts. Which one suits you best depends on your needs. Thanks for watching. We hope this comparison helps you make an informed decision.